Find out what was rocking the streets of Natchitoches this past weekend. And you may have heard gunshots on campus today, but it's not what you might have thought. Welcome back to the semester's last edition of NSU News. I'm Cy Tucker. And I'm Taisha Johnson. Thanks for joining us. Your news starts now. People crowded downtown Natchitoches for this year's Jazz and R&B Festival. NSU News reporter DeVry Smothers heads to Front Street to bring you the entertainment. This weekend began the 15th annual Natchitoches Jazz and R&B Festival. Being around the atmosphere showed me that this isn't just an annual event here in the community of Natchitoches, but it's become a tradition, a tradition full of benefits. I spoke with the Jazz Festival Committee and they explained one of the key importance to this tradition is tourism and the benefits of it. To show everybody what a great city Natchitoches is, everybody needs to come down and enjoy the Jazz Festival. Being that tourism is a key asset to this festival, Ongo has explained why the travel to Natchitoches was worthwhile. Well, Natchitoches is quieter, and it's just uh, a homey type atmosphere, and the people are just very friendly. I spoke with a fellow staff member of the Natchitoches Jazz and R&B Festival, and she explained why a tourist should come out to this event. Just to enjoy the music, enjoy the festival food. We got, I mean, we got everything from funnel cakes to fried Snickers bars. I mean, we got it all. We've got alcoholic beverages. We've got great, great other beverages. That's fresh squeezed lemonade. Listen to the music. Come out and enjoy the city. Quite a lot of people did come out to enjoy this event with the city of Natchitoches. To the locals, all the way down to the tourists themselves. Everyone came out to enjoy the mixed culture of food and even the mixed culture of bands. The band was both a huge success and both a benefit to the people to let them kick back and enjoy the moment and enjoy themselves at the festival. For NSU News, I'm DeVry Smothers. Reporter LaCambria Williams goes inside some of NSU's departments to find out how they helped contribute to Northwestern's retention rates. Why do NSU students stay here once they get here? The Journalism and English Department perceive communication to be the key to Northwestern's current and future retention rate success. Many schools work to make their campus a home away from home environment for its students. A place for them to be comfortable enough to relax, learn, and grow. To see a professor not just as a hired teacher, but as a mentor, a friend. One of our goals in journalism has really been to reach out to students, to establish bonds with them. So both in the classroom and out of the classroom, uh, we've worked to establish relationships with, with students. The department uses its relationship with students to encourage them to stay focused on their career goals. The English department branches out in its efforts to continue reaching their students. We have uh, recently gone on Facebook. Uh, this is a push that we're making to try and talk to our students and our majors in a way that they're familiar with and to try and network with them on a social network that they use a lot. This allows professors to meet their students at the point of their need, both inside and outside of the classroom. Finding out ways NSU works to retain its students. Reporting for NSU News, I'm LaKimbria Williams. NSU is participating in a citywide and campus cleanup on Saturday, April 24th. Cleanup will be from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. A team of NSU faculty, staff, and students will meet at Normal Hill at 10 a.m. and work their way downtown, arriving at the Riverbank by 12 p.m. Gloves and trash bags will be provided to all volunteers. Light refreshments will also be available at the Riverbank. To RSVP or for more information about joining NSU's team, please contact Stephen Grusbeck, whose number is on the screen. Natchitoches is home to over 10 separate rural communities, each one offering something unique and exciting. NSU News reporter Jeffrey Scholler hits the road and shows us what's out there. Last week, we looked at the exciting activities that you and your friends could do just within the city of Natchitoches. 
Well, for these next set of activities, it might be beneficial for you to make a road trip. 480 feet above the water, Grandy Core Center offers scenic views of the Red River filled with built-in hiking trails, picnic areas, and information of the importance of the waterway in the museum located inside. There are a lot of different things that people can do in the Natchitoches area, uh, really any time of the year. Of course, if you're a history buff, there are lots of things to learn about the culture and history of Natchitoches. A look in the Adia Indians includes glimpses into teepees, watching the buffalo roam, and a tour into the Culture Museum. Louisiana is home to many things, especially gospel and country. Rebel State Park dedicates to true Southern music with a rocking museum. Along with Southern Confederate pride, people can enjoy the tomb of the unknown Confederate soldier or just enjoy the scenery with picnic areas filled with springtime flowers. For the history buffs, Natchitoches is filled with many old-time plantations, such as Melrose, Oakland, and Magnolia. Uh, we have unique things like the Alligator Park, which is just north of Natchitoches. It's one of the top tourist attractions in the region, and it opens in April and stays open through October. Many people come to see the alligators move slowly beneath their feet. Birds fly freely, and people can even feed goats. The park provides many activities, such as the Castaway Feeding Show, where hungry gators feast on bites of chicken. The park is a taste of living in the true Louisiana swamps and is the perfect chance to act like a child again. So the parish is filled with many attractions for music lovers, scenic lovers, history lovers, and even that child inside who just wants to see those gators. Remember, for more updates about events that the city of Natchitoches is doing, or to see more information about the places that you saw in this package, you can always head over to www.explorenacadish.com. Reporting for NSU News, I'm Jeffrey Scholler. Well, Mario, the weather's been great lately. Uh, wasn't too hot today. I'm loving it. What can we expect this weekend? Uh, what we can expect this weekend is clear, si clear skies, but to find out about the rest, you just have to wait and see right after this break.